As mentioned in the previous lesson, I'd like to now show you how we can crossfade the audio of clips. And in order to do this, I've created a new example by jumping back to sequence two. And here we have two completely different clips next to each other. And we can also see here that the second clip is much quieter than the first one. So I'll play this. So as we can see, it really is two completely different scenes, which we probably wouldn't use in combination. But for this example, it's rather useful. To start with, I'll use a standard dissolve. So by drag and dropping it, I drop it here. And the settings are specified so that the audio is automatically crossfaded. So we'll listen. So that's the situation as is. The audio and the video sections are both crossfaded or blended. I'll undo this, and now I'd like to show how I can crossfade only the audio section of a clip. And to do this, I can't use these transitions from this folder. We have a separate category, and that is the audio crossfades section. And here, in this audio crossfades folder, I find certain crossfades for audio. And the default one is this linear out in crossfade. And I can simply drag and drop this onto the clips. However, I can't drag it onto a video section. I have to place it on an audio section. So we'll listen to this. So we can see that even though these clips have no transition between them, the audio is in fact crossfaded. And to make the whole thing somewhat more interesting, I can adjust the audio crossfade. I'll try and do that here, and I can see that I can't actually drag the end of the crossfade this way. And if I try in the other direction, it also doesn't work. And if I try and make it smaller, the clips become separated. Why this is, I'd like to show you now. And to do this, we go into the settings, user settings, and here I had the option to extend clips when applying transition crossfade. We've already seen this, but to use it here, I have to activate it once more. So apply, and now I can adjust the length of the crossfades. This of course depends on how much material is available to me within those clips. I'll adjust this crossfade now so that it ends at this joint between the clips and a little piece of it goes to the left. And we can listen to this now to hear what it does. And so we can see that the audio of the motocross clip is faded out, even though we can see the motocross rider. I'll make this somewhat more extreme and clearer. And so what we have is a crossfade that brings in the audio of the following clip before the previous clip has ended. In our example, this is of course fairly useless, but you could imagine that in films, it could have stylistic reasons. Now I'll change the direction by extending the crossfade to the right and starting the crossfade at the clip joint. And so we have the opposite effect. Even though the image is already showing the icebergs, we still have audio from the previous clip as this audio file fades out during the following images. So this is an interesting stylistic option to blend clips together. Of course, you also have the possibility to place a transition on the images. So separate from the audio crossfade, you can blend the two clips together with various options.